Your Excellency, members of the task force uh, led here by Professor Adam Solo, all the other distinguished guests here, ladies and gentlemen, Hamjambo. Hamjambo Tena. Leo ni Leo. This is the day that many people have been waiting for. And yesterday, you remember, Your Excellency, I hesitated from saying that we are going to receive the report today. But today, finally, Nyoka Imetoka. We now have a report, and people can now talk about a report. There have been people who have been speculating about a report without reading it. Some even have expressed opposition to it before they've seen it. But finally, it is here. We said that uh, after long deliberation among, between us, the two of us, it took hours we identified what we saw as the problems which are actually ailing our country. And we decided that we should take steps to resolve these problems, not just for ourselves, but in the interest of this generation and the future generations of our country. <laughs> because we asked ourselves, we have a new constitution. At that time, it was 80 years. And he said, but still there are problems. So there must be other issues which are making us not enjoy what the founding fathers of our nation wanted. A country where um, uh, justice are uh, shield and defender. And they dwell in, in, in unity, peace and liberty. And finally, plenty is found within our borders. So far, we don't have that the plenty, 56 years since we got independence. And that's why P K Kenyans are, are angry, because they are hungry. An angry person is an, uh, a hungry, uh, a hungry person is an angry person. And we identified the issues and we put them in the memorandum of understanding. There are nine points which we charge these eminent Kenyans the responsibility of trying to find solutions. So after moving around and talking to Kenyans, they came up with a report. And then thereafter, we decided to reappoint them, rather than bringing a new team, new faces, to go and try to validate this report among the people of Kenya. They has already Tom has explained, held town hall meetings. But we decided ourselves that we will go around and talk to Kenyan generally. And we came up with the concept of regional consultations. And the first regional consultation took place here in Kisi. In fact, just across the wall, down there is where it was. That's where we had the lengthy deliberations. We had the experts explaining. And here in Kisi, we brought in people from all the six counties of uh, former Nyanza province. So here, you had the Luos, the Kisis, and the Kurias came here, their representatives. Kisi County had, I think, 500 delegates. The rest had 300, 300, 300 mixed. Some were elders, some were, 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 were women, some were youth, some were politicians, religious leaders, businessmen, all assembled here. And after lengthy deliberation, after the report was presented by the experts, and people deliberated. We then retreated to the study where we were yesterday. 
to launch the the uh, BBI, and that's where the reggae started. <laughs> and that's why yesterday I said we decided to come here yesterday, and I said today we decided deliberately with the president to come and receive the report here in Kisi. Because this is where it started. And regularly potoka hapa kanguruma uko magribi. As you said here, the Kisi spoke a lot about issues affecting the Kisi region, issues which are specific to this region. Like you've seen the Stopstone products out right there. He talks about them. He talks about minerals generally in this area. He talks about agriculture. They talked about industries in this region. Down around the lake there, they talked about fishing industry. They talked about sugar industry, that area. They talked about groundnuts growing, about cotton and industrialization generally that area, and also issues of infrastructure. The couriers came with the issues because couriers are in, in Migori County, and they are saying that they don't think they're getting their fair share. Some people are making noise. I said, no. That's why we're doing these consultations. <laughs> Let everybody speak. Then we can be able to find a solution. As we moved on, it turned out it was not just only couriers having this problem. If you went to, went to Western, the suburbs of Mount Kenya were talking about how they're also not being fairly treated there. They're, they're not getting their, their rights. The Tesos in uh, Busia had similar issues. So we then say that we must find a way in this new constitution in which we find a way of how we can isolate problems affecting minorities and finding how to, to address them. To the Potoka Yingo, to make a Huko Mubasa, Kule Watu Wapwani Waka 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 Foka, Waka Kohoa, Mambo Yamadini, they talked about. They talked about the blue economy in the coast. They talked about historical uh, uh, land marginalization, including Missouri land rights and all those sort of things. So very serious issues were raised. Then from there to kind of Kambani, the campus also talked about issues of drought, issues of famine, you know, uh, issues of uh, national calamities, uh, and, and also infrastructure. To kind of huko Narok, Narok Pale, Wamasai, Waliongea. They talked about issues of land there, how their land had been invaded, there are certain specific land that they talked about, uh, and they wanted a solution to the, the issue of land. They talked about personalism as a way of life, and how you can do value addition, things like putting up uh, a meat processing uh, plant in, 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 in Narok. Then they uh, talked about uh, the g game, the, the game park, which you have uh, Mas uh, Masaimara, and then you have also Amboseli, and that they wanted these to be under the counties. We then went to Garissa, and in Garissa, Wariahi, Walikohoa, from Mandera, Wajir, all the way up to um, uh, uh, Garissa. But even to uh, the, uh, the people from uh, um, uh, Marsabit joined Anisiolo. And there they talked about issues of personalism, uh, there, issues of infrastructure, issues of education, issues of uh, security, generally, the threat to the Shabab and so on. And all this, 
we agreed could need to be addressed. From there, to Kanda Uko Mlimani, Mount Kenya, Kule Meru. What from Mlima, Kutoka Uko Nakuru, Mpaka Dharaka Nidhi, Waliongea, Shidazao. The issues of, of, of land, issues of industrialization, issues of infrastructure, and issues of equity. The issue of one man, one shilling was very loud there. That is so that each and every Kenyan gets their right here. So through this process, we manage to really get what is ailing Kenya, what are the problems. So it was not a useless exercise. Some people can stand and say, oh, waste of time. We need to address the issues of poverty, what we are chini, what we are dogo. And so what? How do you address them if you don't know them? <laughs> so he said, if we want the Kenyan to speak, and the Kenyan spoke. Somebody will come and say, today is when you have now discovered that kuna what we are dogo. You want to have a conversation about the people, the poor man, the common man, the mukukukuteni, the driver, driver, mutuwa wilbaru, and so on. But you have been there all this time. <laughs> Did you come from heaven? You didn't drop from heaven like, a, like an angel. You've been around. Is it the first time you have now discovered that there are what mukukukuteni? And the issues of haves and have nots. If you are really concerned, why do you give them wheelbarrows? Why don't you give them your helicopter? <laughs> we are going to talk to the people of Kenya. The Kenyans must know the truth that this CCC what was in. Mimi na ndugu yangu tuliamua tutaenda njia hii kwa sababu tunajua hii ndio njia ya kukomboa Kenya. There's no other way. This is how you're going to do it. And as uh, uh, um, Thomas said, the conversation is now beginning. And I'm sure shortly we are going to be able to get a consensus consensus, the issue of gender uh, inclusivity, for example, in parliament. And we say that we take parliament as an institution, National Assembly and the Senate. And then once we put that together, then we deal with the issue of gender parity there. And we are determined to achieve that now, before the next elections. So we are, we are open to everything else. So Kenya, the new Kenya, must need to be born. And we, this is what we want. We said we want to bequeath a better society to the future generation. It is not about making Ayurodinga president or making Uru Kenyatta a prime minister. That is so far from it. That is propaganda. The facts are those that we have, we have, we have said. So we want to thank these eminent Kenyans for agreeing and taking up the challenge and burning the midnight oil to come up with this document. I want it to be understood that these are recommendations which they've come with as an after engagement with the people of Kenya. They are not cast in stone. They've given it to us. We will look at them and we'll also give it to our people to look at. And then hereafter, we will come up now with the final document which we are going to take the roadmap is we are going to collect signatures we want signatures to be collected and then we will take it to the electoral commission and from there it will go to the county assemblies and we hope that we can get 24 county assemblies to approve within one week <laughs> and thereafter we go to Bungi from there to the end of the wananchi wa Kenya. Asa wewe sema yako, sisi tutasema yetu. Wa Kenya wataamua.
na wakiamua wewe sisi tuta tuta tutakubali tuta matokeo ya wakenya vile wakenya watakuwa taamua hiyo ndio demokrasia vile inafanya kazi asanteni sana my brother your excellency karibu